That's not too stiff. No, that is not too stiff. I can hit it with that thing right there. Because I know to lift the heel, I've got to break it. And I use this femoris bicep to do that. <clears throat> and if so you don't... Coming through. Yeah. So I say, I mean, as long as you learn this exercise, I don't give a damn how, what you do with that. Uh -huh. Mike, this knee stays flex, this hip... It's be able back on you. Right. You back. Yeah. That's right. Now you, you feel support. I tell you what you do. I, when I get on this thing like this, I can hold up three men. Right there. You can hold up one. Do that. Now, is the, did anybody see any objection to this way of swinging? Now, that's, that's motion. So if the knee, if the knee stays flexed, you're going to get more of a reverse pivot? Yeah. Get back, back up. You do a posterior rotation to the right hip. Now, this is a posterior rotation right hip, and you stay on your left. No, it'd be a little bit more on the left because you see to address the thing you move over a little bit like that to lower the right shoulder. Now, look at that! Look at that! Look, guys, that's beautiful, beautiful. That's where it stops. Huh? Right there. You see that? That's beautiful too, isn't it? Now, I'm going to show you something. We're going to do hand action, okay? Now we're going to keep this still. We're going to move this right hand into hop extension. That puts the left wrist in palm of flexion. Okay? Now we come through here. Like that. Do that. Now this is a short one. Just a short movement. Now we combine those. See, it's a, take a first class. Ben? Okay, no, I'm, I'm not moving the arms at the moment. I'm do moving hands. I do a, what this call a dorsal flexion of the, this right hand. Now, I'm doing a, a slight palm flexion, but the elbow is turning a little bit. You see? Now, it should come forward. Now, just let that loose and let it come that way. Now, pick up that heel and let it go. See, they had to stay and look there. They had to, excuse, excuse me, do that. But when I, okay, when I watch this, I see Rick do this with his hand. Later on, you're not, you're going to let the shift. Do it, yeah. And follow that, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Okay. When you're doing it with your hands, it's just a hand drill. Just a, just a <laughs> hand drill, just to show them how to use their hands. Combat, combat, com, you know, combine the now the shift and and, and then a turn. And you get a full swing. Understand? You sort of got to go in this way yeah. more than more than yeah. that. Yeah. If you want to fight that left field all day, you go that other way. Uh, so Mike, when it gets here, eventually you're going to rotate up here. See, the wrists will come together here. So when you hit the ball, now let me show you something. When you hit the ball, now that that isn't here. That's the dress. When you hit the ball, you're there. Now, hold, hold it, stay there. Now, the, see, this right hand hasn't completed its action yet. This is a straight line from the club head up to the left shoulder. Uh -huh. Now, as this comes like now the wrists will come together like that, and then they'll turn over. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah. Wrists come together. No, you're too tight. Man, you, you know, you've got that thing locked up in your arms. <laughs> that way. Okay. And then turn over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. This one. Okay. You come now. I'm going to bring this together. Watch. No. Like that. And then turn over. Okay. Let it go into the into the. Then come back in. You understand? Turning over just going more or less happens. You don't. Ah, yes, that's right. Yeah, that's when you break that left arm. See, that'll turn it over. Don't don't lock this thing this way. For the average starting golfer, how much training is there involved in getting to do that? 
It actually, if you take a person who never had a golf lesson, it is so easy. And women, because they normally walk with a, the hips working this way, a man walks with his hips level. A woman walks with a tilting hip action. You see, a woman walks this way, this way, this way. And that's where you swing. And it's seven years added to your life walking that way. And you walk this way, stiff like this, you stubbing up those spine, cutting off the circulation of your brain. So, now shift, that's right. Man, I tell you, see that ball go right there. You come around and walk like this and you're going out of See, there's so much, this is crap. That turns the blade, but doesn't advance the shaft. This advances the club. I'm hitting that ball, man, I'm just knocking the crap out of it with the head. I'm not coming in and ticking the thing there with the arm and locking the wrist and turning the hand under, you know? Good. See, it doesn't, doesn't convolute. Now, convolute is like that. Yeah. It stays on plane. Close to hmm? So if that's the if that was the target line, Mike, the edge of that stage. Yeah. Okay. Half of that club head now, after he hit it, is it going more over it? Yeah, it's just it's coming down. It. Yeah, it's coming down the fairway until he comes to here. Mm -hmm. And he turns over and he comes there. So it's and going down that line more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But no, I'm not, I'm not doing here. I'm letting a 180-degree pendulum action take forth around the base of the wrist. Now, this is, this is only half of a semicircle. Now, this is the other half. Look at the acceleration. Look at the acceleration and the energy now get into the club head, which creates some tropical force. Now, look at this. Now, I take it here and do this. I'm swinging, my body swinging the same speed, but that club is, can you see that? It's just feeling the thunder and up. Mm -hmm. and I shift, I shift this way into convection on the left side, con, you know, concave in the right. Well, I don't make that happen, I let the club head do it. And it doesn't ever get into that degree that you went into, okay? that way. You see, I'm trying to drive the ball up. I always carry the ball. I never want it to roll. I want it to hit and stop. And see, my ball all carry, all carry. I don't have to worry about bounds. Those rolling balls, <laughs> this is the one. You <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to keep this as loose as possible? Not loose, no. Free. I got enough grip here to hold that club up. I'm not squeezing it and locking it the shaft to the left shoulder. I've got a hinge here, and if you don't use that, the third lever is non-usable. Here, look. look at this. First lever is from the elbow to the shoulder. That's working just as the body going. Second lesson from the elbow to the hand. Third lever, hand to the club head. Aye. But don't stop your body. Don't stop your body. You stop your body, and you, your hands will get this way before you hit the ball. I don't want the hands that way until I way out here. That's, now go. There, and then over. Stays right on plane. Let the elbow raise after it goes up. Right, up, go ahead, up. Let the elbow raise. You want to keep that radius. That bar. Is this a little bit different than your, your people thought? It's quite a bit different than a wee, is it not? Well, with the, uh, the uh, thing, of, I think we were more in tune with it, but the position of his hand after impact would turn more close to the flexion. Yeah, well, see, that's... that yeah, wrist flat, Mike. Yeah, but it's, it's only flat one degree impact. impact. It goes out of flatness into a big extension. Then you 